So I just want to do another quick video here and this is another big project that I've been working on and this is sort of why I wanted to do that the dog dispenser treat thing and this is a plasma table this is a CNC plasma cutter and this is the one I designed now I originally wanted something like this now I saw this plasma table probably a month ago and they have some they had some pre-orders and stuff going on and they had it for like almost half off or it was half off or something and this is a two foot by two foot cutting area for this plasma table which is decent for the most part and it has two axis motors so there's one driving the X and then one driving the Y but it's sorta of cantilevered out here and I didn't necessarily like that even though this thing was like a thousand dollars minus the cost of the plasma cutter that's not too bad but I wanted something bigger and I wanted something maybe a little bit more rigid so it wasn't cantilevered out here like that so that's when I decided I'm gonna go ahead and design my own and this one is four foot by four foot or just roughly under that because the outside the length here is four feet long these pieces are four feet long and I'm basing it on the same premise as the one you just saw so there'll be no z-axis motor so it'll be all manually adjusted just like that one was but there's going to be two motors on each side driving the y-axis and then one driving the x-axis sort of how it should so motors aside let's talk a little bit the motion of this thing so basically these linear carriages here with the bearings those these wheels those are bearings so I'm going to go ahead and get these carriages from cncrouterparts.com and these carriages here are twenty-seven dollars twenty-seven seventy-five a piece so that is pretty good and I was like I'll just go ahead and make it myself well no you can't beat that because this comes with the block and the bearings itself and everything is there and all you need is quarter inch cold rolled steel to for that thing to ride on and you can adjust it uh, properly with an eccentric nut or something like that so that's why I decided on those and I'll just go ahead and buy them from this company rather than make them myself and they'll be probably a little bit more precise than I would get them just because they've been doing it for a while and they probably have that process down so that is the idea behind the linear motion of this machine and I'll have the cold rolled steel right on top of this piece of 8020 so I'm basically using this 8020 for everything I love that stuff because it's very convenient but I hate putting it together <laughs> that is my one downfall to 80-20. So same thing with this axis too. I'll use those same carriages and it'll roll right on that piece of steel that will be attached to the 80-20. I'll machine these motor mounts, the y-axis riser, whatever you want to call it, and these top pieces to the linear carriages. This piece, the torch mount. There's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot there to machine. I'll have to put the holes in the cold rolled steel that shouldn't be too bad though that's pretty simple after that I mean it's not too bad but really I just wanted to get your guys thoughts on what you think if you have any suggestions on what I should do that's why I'm doing this video here just real quick to show you what I've been working on in the background and of course I'll have a tray here it will have those slats in it where you can set the part on and possibly you can put water in here just like a regular water table you'd see on any plasma cutter and that's sort of a little further on down the road and my plan is to keep this under fifteen hundred dollars and so far I've done pretty good at that so here is my bill of materials for what I have so far and this should be everything the flat bar for the carriages all the 8020 here with the brackets the stepper motor kit the gear rack and pinion and the linear carriages from CNC router parts and then all of the aluminum that I would need to cut all those motor mounts and all that stuff so we're at 1482 and that's not counting shipping and so we're probably looking at another hundred dollars at least just in shipping for all this crap hundred dollars seems like a lot but I'm getting shipped 48 inch long pieces of flat bar and the rack and pinion setup is like 52 inches long so I mean that's pretty wild there too so the shipping is going to be somewhat expensive so I mean that's not too bad that's not counting the torch though so my goal was fifteen hundred dollars or less not including the torch the plasma cutter so it's not too bad but if you guys have any thoughts 
Let me know what you think, and I would be glad to take them into account. Thanks for watching this brief video, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching.